Now the honeymoon is well and truly over. So how is life as a normal, a normal everyday couple? <laughs> when you're married to someone you'd never met before you got to the altar. Well, we are about to find out with Married at First Sight, New Zealand's Julia Malley. Welcome to the cafe. Yay, welcome. Great to be here. So nice to have you here. Let's have a little background about you first. If people aren't familiar with you, tell us a little bit about yourself and you know what your dating life has been like up until now, <laughs> up until marriage. <laughs> well, not great, obviously. <laughs> um, yeah. I, I about me? Well, I'm 32, live in Christchurch, I uh, work for Stuff and um, just went on the show because I wanted to find love like anyone else. It's, yeah. How did your last relationship end, if you don't mind me asking? Uh, honestly, I've had two great long-term relationships and they just, it was a bit about timing. We're both really good friends and um, both of them I'm really good friends with and we, we um, yeah, they're, they're watching the show as well. That's oh, boring. That's boring. Yeah, sorry, boring. should I have said something? Yeah. Like, oh, it was two miles. <laughs> so what did you think? You're married to Dave. What did you think when you first saw him? Um, oh, look, it was hard. I think when I first saw him I was like, oh, no, I was, I'm, really, I'm taller than him for one, but um, it's not everything. Um, and, but then when I actually got up to the aisle and actually talked to him, it, he just made me feel a lot more relaxed because I, I was so nervous, it was so awkward. Uh, but he made me feel a lot better, That's so uh, it was good. When you enter into something like this, I guess you don't necessarily know how huge it's going to be. Is this the biggest thing you've ever done in your life? Like, is it what you thought or is it a struggle? Um, it is it, it is what I thought, but it's actually a lot harder. Right. <laughs> um, yeah, it was definitely the toughest thing I've ever done. Uh, but cool, because it makes you stronger. What is it like seeing yourself on camera? I still hate it. <laughs> I never get used to it. I just, I said to myself, I would never watch myself on TV. But I got to the point where I couldn't not, because you've got people messaging you, and you're kind of like, oh, I need to see what happens so I can You need to see how you adjust. be portrayed too. Absolutely. Um, and so, yeah, I, I, I just I can't get used to it. Do you watch, I still it, hate do you it. watch it like I this? I hide. I'm like, like hiding this? under the couch. Oh. My friends are like, come oh. on, Julia, this is ridiculous. <laughs> no, it's uh, it's really tough. Uh, are you happy with the way you've come across? Because I actually I love you. I think that you are very genuine. Oh, you're fun. You. I think huge you're brilliant fan. on the yeah. show. You're a huge fan. Um, <laughs> are you happy? Yeah. I mean, I look. I can look back and say I was really honest and genuine. And yeah, I can. Mm. That's the most important part, really. The thing about relationships is obviously there's a lot of it that it's good to have this great friendship base, but also the attraction thing has to come into it as well. Really important. So Super how's important. That going for you? <laughs> um, at the moment, um, working on it. Uh, it's not a dead duck yet. <laughs> um, but it, yeah, it's been tough um, from that point of view because it's, yeah, it's kind of crucial. Yeah. Uh, we get along so well. He's a great guy. Um, it just well, seems that for your slight spark. Yeah. yeah. Well, At the it, moment, but yeah. I'm not giving up. OK, this may <laughs> seem really harsh, but is there something physically that you would change about Dave to make that attraction happen? Honestly, it doesn't really come down to physical looks. And okay, I've been so asked this before. So it's emotional then? Uh, yeah, it but really is. But you seem is. to have that it's emotional connection. So, we do, yes, but I don't know. It's this missing thing that uh, at the moment that I can't really put my finger on the chemistry, so much. Maybe. Yeah, that well, sometimes word chemistry. it just is. Yeah. The chemistry thing it's is just really a hard to explain. Okay. Amazing thing. No, no, fair enough. It really is. But I, it was yeah. a bit rough the other day though, Julie, when I was watching <laughs> giving Dave a hard time oh, about God. his masculinity <laughs> oh. on national TV. Yeah. I honestly like he must I, have died. <laughs> <laughs> no, and, and honestly, if I thought that he um, had a problem with it, I would never ever disrespect him like that. Right. He is very he owns that side of him. He's and I love it. And what you guys don't see is that actually I do say that. I, I'm like, hey, I think it's a great thing, it's a positive thing, but of course, beauty of editing. Um it, it cuts off there, just me saying, oh, I think he's metrosexual. Well, are we not seeing everything that's actually happening? Yeah. No. <laughs> <laughs> you guys know, you're not silly. So tell us a little bit about your relationship with Sam, because you guys hang out as a foursome lot too, and um, yep. the experts say that this can happen when people are not convinced about their relationships, or you also hang out with them solo as well. Yeah. Um, oh, look, I disagree with them in that sense, and I did tell them that. <laughs> uh, because I really, in, in a situation like this, it's the hardest thing. You want to have someone you can lean on, and it's all good and great, ringing up your mum, or your, or your friends, but they don't know. They're not in the situation. Mm. So for me, Sam was Sam and Taylor were an outlet for me to just go and vent um, away. So mm. I honestly don't think it's a bad thing. And Dave did the same thing. 
And, and I guess when you're under that immense pressure, you do need an outlet, don't you? So you I can have no how idea. That <laughs> <laughs> is, is there anything you would do differently? I know, you know, we still don't know what the outcome is. But yeah. you're looking back for you, would you do anything differently? <laughs> Never reply. <laughs> God. Hey, you've got to say yes to things in life, don't you? I don't know. I don't know. That's a tough question. I don't know if I would do anything differently. Um, I don't think, looking back on the episode, I don't think I realise how upset Dave was with how much I spent time with Sam. And, and I think if I had known that, I probably would have taken Changed it back it, yeah. a little That's bit. And, 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 but it? yeah, you're watching the other side of things when you're watching the show back, and, and you're seeing that side of things that you, in a normal relationship you don't see. And we had a different perspective on that. He was sort of like, oh, look, we've only got this time of filming. We need to get everything in. But I said, hey, look, you know, we, let's see what happens. It doesn't have to, we don't have to put a time limit on it just because mm. the camera's around. Well, no, and look, keep being you, because what I love about you is that you go to say something and then you're, you're so caring about how it affects oh. everybody else and then you struggle with that. I really but do. But that's you being genuine. my biggest... Um, yeah, no, I get it. Yeah, I get I've, it. It's <laughs> tough. <laughs> Thank you. Yeah, I appreciate you for pointing that out, because it really, yeah, it's been tough. Hey, well, good luck. Thank good you. luck. Just hold out your hand for a minute. Oh, she is still wearing oh. it. Just checking. <laughs> <laughs> Married at first there. sight. New Zealand screen Sundays at 7 as oh, well as Mondays it. and Tuesdays at 7.30 on 3. And you can check out 3 now to catch up on any episodes that you might have missed. Yeah, great seeing you, Julia. Thank you. It's fascinating TV. Don't miss it.